what y'all are thinking? That I wasn't gonna make another video because the last time I made a video probably was four years ago. But no, nah, seriously, I'm trying to be consistent with this. I'm trying to get motivated, really. I'm trying to do this all the time. Now, um, really, ever since I did that macros video, I've been meeting more and more people that just don't track their macros, man. Uh, you know, I bring it up, and they're like, oh yeah, I'm eating healthy, you know, I'm eating this and that. But really, they got no idea where, where they stand with their calories. How are you gonna get results by, you know, by just guessing and thinking that you're eating enough calories, really? But anyways, if you haven't seen the video, check out that video. It just gives a brief uh, explanation about how to track your macros, really, um, and how to calculate it. But today, I wanna talk about getting motivated. So, that's also another question that people always ask me. How do you stay so motivated? How do you want to go to the gym every day? How do you find the energy to go to the gym? Well, that's a good question. Because, you know, it's hard. I feel, I feel like the, the first thing you got to, um, to realize is this, this isn't going to come in a month or two of lifting. You got to you got to really live this sh this shit. Like it's a lifestyle, man. Like I go to work, I work 8 hours a day. Come home, eat a snack, and then I hit the gym, man. I I don't have the energy to work out in the morning and I really like to get my calories in throughout the day so I have energy in the gym. Um, but you know, it's, it's hard, man. You get, when I was back in college, I had way more time, uh, to, to work out and then study, you know, that was, that was actually a blessing. I had a lot more time to do, uh, to make a lot of gains, man. But if you're just starting off and you got a full-time job, holy shit, man, that's, that is hard. Like, but you know. That's what I'm doing right now, and it's not holding me back. You know, you gotta change the way you see your daily routine. Instead of coming home and watching TV, you know, that's so easy. I would love to do that, trust me. I would love to come home and watch some TV and just dick around, you know, but I, I gotta go to work again. This is my second job, man. If you don't realize this, you probably aren't gonna get anywhere. I'm serious. So, so instead of coming home and turning the TV on, you know, get a little pre-workout meal in. Maybe just eat some oatmeal and some bananas, and uh, you know, eat those vitamins and and supplements that you might have bought for working out. You want to get all the supplements. You want to get the creatine. You want to get the protein. You want to get the BCAAs. You want to get the uh, Vitamin C, you want to get the Centrum multivitamin. All these are going to propel you forward. Let's assume that you didn't buy any of these things. It's so much easier to say no. You got to get motivated, man. You want to spend your hard earned money on things that are going to help you work out. I'm talking about um, maybe some gloves, uh, not really gloves, but wrist wraps help you deadlift more um, supplements maybe some workout clothes some new shoes for the gym if you see those things just lying around and you're not using them it's gonna be uh, it's gonna hit you a little harder like oh I was so so stoked about the gym you know maybe I should go and it's, it's gonna help you get up and go envisioning it so when I go to work I envision this shit all day. I actually, you know, pull up some articles. You know, I'm not supposed to. I should be working, but I pull up articles and I read about working out throughout the day. And I think about my workout. And when I work out, or when I when I wake up, 
I'm thinking about all the things I need to eat for the workout. So let's say I wake up and I drink that protein shake and then I eat oatmeal and then comes lunch, I eat my sandwich with rotisserie chicken sandwich meat and then I'll eat a pack of tuna and then I'll go work out uh, when I get off and then I'll have my dinner uh, like a chicken breast with broccoli and rice. So I'm just envisioning things all day and I'm, I'm thinking about my workout and what if I had envisioned this all day and by the time I got off work I didn't go. It would just be like I, I just couldn't have it happen. So my point is when you're envisioning this, it's going to help you uh, get in the gym because let's face it, you've been thinking about it all day. Another good way to get motivated is to have an accountability partner. So basically a gym partner, a good partner that you can go to the gym with and motivate each other. Like y'all, hopefully y'all lift around the same weight. It's okay if you don't, there's ways to figure it out where y'all can use the same uh, machines and workouts with different weights, of course. But, you know, you don't wanna let that person down. They're gonna help spot you. You guys are gonna be competitive. Sometimes you you just don't have the, the pleasure of getting a gym partner, you know, but make some friends at the gym. If you see somebody lifting the same weight as you and y'all have uh, touched base before, why not just start working out together? I've done it before and it's it's not it's not dreadful. You make new friends. And you get a workout partner and you get those spots, which is really important, man. Because how else are you going to grow if you don't have a spot? That's, a, that's really a luxury, uh, in my opinion. Another way to get motivated is to get those compliments. If you just started and you hadn't gotten any compliments and, you know, it just seems like you're working out, working out, and nothing's happening, trust me, when you start getting those first few compliments, that will propel you forward. You will not get enough. I'm not trying to say like, oh, I get compliments all the time, but when you work hard for something and you get those compliments, it really wants, it really makes you want to keep on keeping on with whatever you're doing. And it'll help you maintain that no excuse mentality. Oh, no excuses, motherfucker. I'm gonna do this and I will continue to get compliments. And we've all heard this study before. Attractive people get better jobs, they get paid more. It's it's apparent. People like attractive people. Um, I'm not talking about just aesthetic in the face, but if you look healthy and you're above average in size, it will go a long way. Let's say this Costco, for example, it's like right across the LA Fitness I work at. Everyone that works there, I understand. They see a lot of people, they become complete assholes, really. You go in there, you know, some people are friendly, but the majority of them, they're not friendly. But I've gone in there with a tank top before. Suddenly, everyone's attitude changes. I'm serious. Like, oh, starting conversations, they're being friendly, but when I go in there with a regular t-shirt, and they can't see that you know I've been lifting weights or something. They'll just be like straight up rude. It's it's really uh you know obvious. But another example is when strippers come into my place of work, you know, and my my coworker's having a bad day. He's automatically gonna turn on the smile and give these strippers good service. I'm not even kidding, man. It's, it's just life. People like a well-groomed, good-looking, um, aesthetic person, really. They just get it better in life. And that should motivate you. That should help you change. You want to get that respect out of people without demanding it. It just happens naturally, really. All right, I'm going to leave y'all with some quick tips on how I get my ass in the gym. So you're gonna take your BCAAs, your creatine, and your pre-workout before you even leave the house. 
Granted, you're probably going to be a little wired by the time you get there, and if you're just leaving your house after you get home from work, there's going to be a little bit of traffic. So you, you're probably going to be a little hyped up by the time you get there, which is good, but uh, the point is you don't want to be at home all cracked out on your pre-workout. So you're forced to go and you're forced to burn that energy off. You know, that's, that's my number one tip. Just get in the motherfucking gym, man. What? By the time you're there, you're gonna be just cruising. Just, you know, knocking things out. Three sets, four sets, five sets, boom, boom, boom. But also to summarize what we went over today about getting motivated, you know, understand that this is a lifestyle, you know? You don't just do this for a couple months and then come off and then go back a couple months. You gotta dedicate yourself. It's a lifestyle and you gotta get that in your head. You either want to do it or you don't. Envision it. You gotta wake up and envision these things, man. You gotta think about your food. You gotta think about your workout. You gotta think about how long you're gonna rest. You're gonna you're gonna text your workout buddy. Um, you know tonight at seven. You know you gotta set your day up. Set yourself up for success just by getting in. Spend money on gym things. You want to involve yourself in the workout. You don't want to just do uh, everything you know that's not about the gym, like eating hamburgers, and, uh, eating uh, things that aren't going to fit your macros. You got to track that shit. You got to spend money on this shit, and you got to really be about it. Get a gym partner. You want to get not a gym partner that's going to set you back. Because, you know, you can get a gym partner, trust me, but you don't want the type that's going to give up, you know, that you're that you're going to have to be uh, pushing along. I mean, you can push your partner, but uh, if they're if they're not going to go with you motivating them, just cut them off. You're better off by yourself, man. You don't want any negative energy holding you back. You only want positive energy pushing you forward and you know if, if your partner just doesn't uh, have that same mentality as you just cut them off you're better off alone take the compliments and don't look back compliments are not a bad thing man it's not egotistic you know compliments are just supporting your hard work and whenever you do get those compliments channel them into moving forward and achieving more confidence. And the best one that we, that I want you to hold on to is the no excuse mentality. You know, do it like you have no excuses at work. You gotta finish those tasks before you get, get off the clock. Take it seriously like you did school. You gotta pass those tests. Take it, even take it seriously like those video games, man. Just knock out all those missions, man. It's a motherfucking mission. Just get in the gym and knock out the damn mission. Peace.